You actually found out about Snowfall while you were in prison? Yes. This was um, 2016. I did 2016. After I got out the first time, I went back. Okay. So I got a violation. I was on parole. They gave me a violation and gave me 32 months with, like, I think it was half. So I had to do, like, no, it was like, it was like 32 months, but I had to do like a portion of that, which was like 18, 19 months. And that's when I found out about Snowfall. I'm in the air and um, it comes on. And I was like, and it's John Singleton, this it, the creator and pro I said, man, I'm finna get out and get on that motherfucker. You manifested that? I'd be damned if I didn't. Wow. I told everybody in there, I'm going to be on Snowfall. Check me out. And um, when I got out, I got an audition for Snowfall. I kept in touch with John Singleton through uh, emails through the years that really? I was in there. Yeah. So, And then I went back, and he found out, and I was like, but I still got another opportunity. It was only a violation. That was harder than the first time. Really? The nine years, seven months. The violation was, I'm in there sweating. I'm in there toe up. It hurt. It hurt. I couldn't believe it. I'm back in this piece. What did you, what, did you uh, what happened? I had a knife on me that wasn't like this. It wasn't in a sheath and it was not legal. I had a kitchen knife stuck in my pants and the police pulled me over. And, oh my God. Yeah, that's why I got violated. I wasn't supposed to have a knife either because I was on parole. Right. I'm not on parole now, so I'm legally able to carry a knife as long as it's, in you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, cause you know, 2011, you finished serving your, uh, it was like nine years and some change, right? Nine years, seven months, 22 days. And then, you know, I stayed out for about six years before right. I went back. Wow. Yeah. And then how long were you in there for that? Like 20 months. Damn. Yeah, that was the worst part, though, of yeah. the whole time. It was crazy. Damn, I'm sorry. I hate prison. Yo, I'm so sorry. That's yeah. crazy. Cause That's you... all right. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm <laughs> thankful as well because it taught it, it always instilled something in me that I need for that time. Hell yeah. Yeah. Because you've been out of prison about the same time you were in prison. Do you feel like you fully adjusted? Right now, I've been out about, yeah, I absolutely. Because the when I first got out in 2011, I stayed out six uh, six years. Made my son in about four years after I was out. Conceived my son, then went back to prison. So now I got to, I'm going through it without my son, without my girl. And it was different. It was totally different. And, um... I've been out since then and taking care of my responsibilities and doing what I still love and, you know. Yeah. Were they able to visit you, though? They came and visit me every, I think, like, once every month. Once or twice every, no, no, once, because you only get one day. And it was four. I stay in L.A., and, and the prison was in past Lancaster. It's called, uh, it was like a new prison. I forgot. Seeks. I forgot the name of the prison. Crazy. Yeah. You know, I, you know Bobby Schmurda? I don't know him, but Do I know, you know of him? him. I interviewed him and I asked him, you know, because he said he did wild shit in prison. He said he was getting head in the jail visits. I got some head. <laughs> <in> the... <laughs> Yo. This was in, on the first time, though. Okay, okay. This wasn't on the second time, but on the first time, yeah, you try to do a lot on the, you, you get away with a lot too if you got the heart to do it. But if you get caught, that's some whole other <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I didn't get to come. Excuse me. Damn, why are we going deep? Yo, Let me leave this alone right here. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Because Robbie said, like, some guards would be cool and then some guards would be like, Mr. Pollock, get your, pull your pants up. Yeah. Oh, uh, so so many guards up in there. Yeah. Females, they used to come on myself showing me, like, do things at the desk so you could see from your cell. Stop! They know what they doing. Yeah, they love that. Certain more people can get away with that. I was one of those that, you know, hey, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I kissed the nurse before. Oh, my gosh. Had the, man, you got what? Had phone numbers. Playing on, they playing on the um phone while you and in a pen and they work there. They, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I never did nothing though, like physically got down because it's kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> the little shit, that shit turned. Yeah, it works. It happened. <laughs> and the um the head part that wasn't from no prison employee you know? right, right, that was right. somebody I knew that was right, right. Yeah. yeah that was funny man cause yeah we were gonna ask if the 10 years um, affected you to this day but you said even the last time you, that affected you more yeah the, the the 10 years it affected me but it, the one the 20 months that that woke me all the way up shook me like, cause I, I thought I wasn't going to, they was talking about for that damn knife, they was trying to give me, I think it was like 17 years. Are you serious? 17 years. That's why I took the deal. I was like, cause I was like, man, I don't want to go through this no more. Let me just do this and right. get up. What was the here. deal? Uh, 32 with half, 32, 32 with half or 80. I think it was 80%. Yeah. Did you have to, you know, obviously you had to lawyer up, right? You had to you had to fight I, at that I, point. I had an attorney. Okay. Damn, that's crazy. 